Have you ever Googled biotechnology? So in this video, we'll be Googling biotechnology and see what the people search the most related to biotechnology. Let's go. So the first one is biotechnology definition. The definition of biotechnology is pretty simple. It's the application of technology and science to living organisms or the products that you get from living organisms. Products like enzymes or hormones, I mean, anything that you can extract from living organisms. So examples of biotechnology, fermentation, like do you drink beer? Do you eat bread? Yes. Then these products are made by biotechnology. Oh, the third one is biotechnology ETF. ETF? WTF. I really don't know what they mean by that. So I googled ETF. There is a thing called ETF. So it's like it's related to stocks. So it's it means ex exchange traded fund. I really don't know much about it. So if you want to know anything about this one, just Google it. Okay, what do we have next? We have biotechnology and bioengineering. So mostly bioengineering is biotechnology. Okay, mostly, not all the time. So it's like bioengineering is biotechnology, always. But biotechnology is not always bioengineering. So if you like engineer any living organism or any chemical product that you get from living organism, it's a part of biotechnology. It's like biotechnological processes and methods are involved in that one. Things like the cultures, like the bacterial or um, any cell cultures, those are not made by bioengineering. Biotechnology, yes, but not by bioengineering, okay? I hope you get what I'm saying. If not, let me know in the comments section. So biotechnology pros and cons. Pros, it's really, it's evolving really quickly. That's a really big pro, okay? Like if you're in it, if you're in it for the money, like if you, if you become a successful biotechnologist, you can earn really good money from it. And there's always something new in biotechnology. Like there's always a new concept introduced in biotechnology. So I'll count that as a pro. And cons, Sometimes it's it can get really frustrating just because so many things are in biotechnology. If you're studying, I mean, it can get frustrating. So for me, that's a con. Other than that, every country has some different rules, like what sort of products do the biotechnological companies in their country are allowed to make. So like there's no global process, like what things every company in the world should be careful about. There's an example like that um, Chinese scientist guy who just made some... I don't know, ge genetically modified babies. It was really highly controversial. And also biotechnology could be used for like bioweapons, a huge con. And we don't know the limits of it. Like anyone in a lab can do anything just because there's no like organization that can take care of, of the companies, of, of the scientists, like what scientists are allowed to do. There should be something like biotech police, I would say so that the people should not misuse these biotechnological methods. And the next one is biotechnology jobs. Yes, the jobs are increasing. They're investing a lot of money in like other fields of biotechnology, like pharmaceutical biotechnology or marine biotechnology, environmental biotechnology. So when like the governments are investing in these sectors, okay, and also some private companies are getting involved, like investors are growing and everything. So, um, so when all of this is growing, there's automatically going to be more job offers for normal people, for biotechnologists. So I guess the jobs are increasing. And also, uh, I mean, in Germany, if you look, I had... Okay, let, let me just show you guys. So like in Germany, as you guys can see, the companies, the number of biotech companies, they're increasing. Like, as you can see, in 2017, there were like 141 more companies from 2016 and if you and if you get, if you look at 2016 there are like 137 more companies and these just in, include the companies that are biotech companies okay there are a lot of other companies like pharmaceutical companies or companies whose main focus is not biotechnology they have also developed like biotech sectors within their company to do research in biotechnological field because the applications of biotechnology they're like in every field not just in biotechnology but also in other inter interdisciplinary sciences so that also creates jobs for biotechnologists okay so the next most searched thing is biotechnology journal 
Okay, so um, I think there's also like a journal called like biotech journal, something like that. It includes like every new research or anything that's new in biotechnology, okay? So they just mention that in that journal. Other than this one, you guys can, I mean, if you're at a university, mostly the university also publishes its own journal or in our case, like some of our professors who are doing some research work, they also uh, publish their own journals, like a professor of ours in, he had done some research on some algae or algae, I don't know what do we call them. Okay, let's say algae. But the bottom line is like some professors also publish their own journals on biotechnology. So just search, like look out for what you're like, look out for what you want. That's it. And the next one on Google is biotechnology advances. Just search for it. But I think the the most intriguing advancement is like making smaller genomes. There are scientists who are making, scientists or there are also small companies who are making small viral genomes like up to 1000 or 2000 genes. They're making it like in the lab, okay? They're designing it and they're printing it. They're printing it with a 3D printer. There is a lot of companies that do that in the US and also in China. I think iCarbonX is a, yeah, they had something done and they had something done like that. So they can like inject or introduce this small viral genome into a bacterial cell like E. coli or any other compatible bacteria. And the bacteria will like produce some enzymes or some enzymes or some other chemicals that could be used as medicals to treat cancer. So there was something like that, like the company was called iCarbonX, search it, you'll see some new advancements. So I think that's really fascinating. So biotechnology for biofuels, the next one, I mean, yes, biotechnology is used for biofuels. It's also getting more and more recognition. I don't know if ethanol, is ethanol a biofuel? I think so. And if not, you can also make like biofuels like biodiesel or something like that with ethanol. So um, ethanol can be produced, okay, let me explain, like carbon dioxide and water, okay, you can make glucose with um, catalyst and I don't know about some temperature around, I don't know, the, I can't remember the temperature. So we had done that in our lab. So um, carbon dioxide and water, you produce, you make um, L-glucose, <coughs> sorry, L-glucose you make in the lab, from that glucose you like get ethanol okay so there's like three steps first reactants is carbon dioxide and water molecules i don't know it was like six carbon and 12 water and you make like l glucose and then from that glucose you make like two ethanol molecules so we had that done that in a lab it was like a small project and you get like 2.5 credit points for that one and a good journal impact factor so I really don't know much about that. I don't know what what factor is good or bad for a biotech journal. I really don't know that. If you just want to know that, search it. I'm sure you'll get some answers. But let's do some more, shall we? Okay, so this sounds good. So here, if you type is biotechnology, so most of the people search for a good career. I would say, yes, of course, it's a really good career because it's developing and evolving really quickly. So yeah, it's a really good career. Is biotechnology hard? Yes, it's hard. Why? Because it includes so many different disciplines, technology, mathematics, and um, biology. Like, So it's a mixture of so many different things. That's why it's not easy, but it's, I mean, it's not easy, but it's also not too difficult. If you're like interested in biotechnology, then it's okay, you can do it. So the next one is, is biotech a good major? Yes, it is a really good major. There's a lot of information hidden inside the genome of a bacteria, let's say. I mean, humans, okay, it's like really big. Let's leave that, let's leave that aside. Just bacteria. There's a lot of factors that influence, okay, that influence the behavior of bacteria. So what do I mean by that? Genes, for sure. They're like bacteria. We know that, we know the complete genome, that's for sure. But there's also like chemicals. If you have, if you have heard anything about epigenetics, there are like chemicals and proteins that also influence the outcome of, of of a gene, that outcome of a gene, like there's a lot of factors that influence the genome and not all the genome of all bacteria is known. There's so much work to do, so it's a really good major. So is biotechnology a good career in India? Yes, for sure. Why? Because their biotech sector is growing 
they're investing. So, okay, uh, the next one is in demand in South Africa. I really don't know. So just search for it, Google it if you are interested, if biotechnology is a good career in South Africa. Sorry. And the next one is biotechnology engineering. Yes, for sure, it's engineering. You'll be engi mostly engineering the genome, like the genetic code of living organisms, or um, if not that, then you'll be engineering chemicals that you extract from living organisms. So yes, it's an engineering. Is biotechnology good? It's the best. Biotechnology at a good course? Of course, it's a really good course. A professional course? Yes, it's a professional course. So anyway, that was it. Th those are the Google searches that we answered. I mean, after all, that was only my opinion, okay? I just, as a biotechnologist, I gave my opinion on these search results. If you guys don't agree with that, write it in the comment section. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.